Southern divisions at home and abroad, returning nationals and residents. I address you tonight as Premier of Nevis on the occasion of the upcoming elections on Friday, August 5th, 2022. This election comes in the wake of a successful culture armor in which the attendance and participation were record-breaking. I must congratulate all of the winners, participants, sponsors, and organizers who made Culture Armor 48 one for the ages. We must also recognize and thank the nationals who returned to the land of their birth in large numbers and through their patronage and participation contributed significantly to the tremendous success of Culture Armor 48. I say thank you to the security forces for your vigilance throughout the festivities. Your service was instrumental in keeping our festival safe. Friday, August 5th is election day. It is a day when you will be asked to choose right over wrong, hope over despair, and unity over discord. As Premier of this beautiful island of ours, I believe that the right to vote is solemn and should not be taken for granted. I therefore urge all of us to go out in our large numbers and exercise our franchise. This election is a consequential election, which will define our generation. It will give us the opportunity to choose a better direction and a better history for our nation. It provides the avenue to pull ourselves up, dust ourselves off, and begin anew. Friday, August 5th will open the door to a better day, a brighter future, a day in which we can shape our destiny and craft a new legacy. We understand that trust is never given, it is earned. Over the years, my government and party have earned your trust and confidence. This has been demonstrated by your unwavering support and increased mandate over the past elections. Your trust, support, and increased mandates were not idly given or granted in a vacuum. You were persuaded by our stellar performance and great leadership over the years. We have a proven track record that can neither be denied nor contested. Despite being disadvantaged by our lack of equal access to and share of the citizenship by investment proceeds, our handling of the COVID-19 pandemic was unmatched. Our civil servants and pensioners remained gainfully employed, were paid on time and in full, and awarded an extra month's salary in December. At the same time, we were able to limit the growth of our public debt and service all of our debt on time. With the expert assistance of Dr. Judy Nisbet and the COVID-19 Task Force, we were able to sail the ship of Nevis to calmer and safer waters. We are now in the rebuilding phase of the pandemic. Our hotels and restaurants have reopened, and we are witnessing an increase in the momentum of our economy. Our recent social security numbers indicate that with regard to employment on our island, we have surpassed all expectations. We have even outperformed our sister island of St. Kitts in the creation of new jobs, increase in wages, and the overall job performance in our country. You have been witness to the monumental infrastructural development and reshaping of the landscape of Nevis. The restoration of the Bath Road, the Brownhill Road, the Butler's Road, Shaw's Road, Brazier's, Hanley's Road, and the main road throughout the length and breadth of Charlestown is historic. The housing revolution being championed by the Honorable Alexis Jeffers is matchless. The construction of new homes has proceeded simultaneously at Mountain View Crescent, Sugar Mill Residences, Chimney View, Bayview Residences, and University Heights as promised. I invite you to visit any of our housing developments to see the modern, affordable homes being built for our people. Our record in security is unrivaled. The construction of the Newcastle Police Station, the construction of the CCTV Command Center, and the expansion of CCTV cameras throughout the island, the stationing of the Defense Force on Nevis, and the daily patrol of the Coast Guard all give evidence of our serious approach to protecting our people. 
the investment and increase in the supply of water and electricity, and the construction of the TVET Center speaks loudly to our competent management of the affairs of Nevis. Fellow citizens and residents, you have heard the arguments and discussions throughout this campaign. Central to my party's campaign is the issue of fair share for all. As enshrined in the Charleston Accord, signed by the leaders of three parties on 17 December 2014, both islands should be given their fair share of the citizenship by investment proceeds on a pro rata population basis. Five years on, we are yet to see the manifestation of this promise. This is unacceptable and must be condemned by all who love Nevis and this federation. Let me be clear. My party will continue to put the interest of our people first. We will never resile from this obligation and we will never relinquish the fight for a fair share for all. This election is about the future of our island and the direction in which we desire to take it. It is about a fair share for all of us. It is about what is right and just for Nevis and for Nevisions, but also what is right and just for St. Kitts and Kittitians. It is about equal opportunity for all, regardless of your place of birth. It is about a fair share for all citizens, whether you're from Handless Road or Old Road, whether you're from Newton Ground or Cotton Ground, whether you are from Brown Hill or Monkey Hill. This is a consequential election, a referendum on the future of our country. It is about whether, as Nivisions, we believe in fair share for all Nivisions, or whether we are content with the crumbs from the table, as others are espousing. We must never allow our voices to be silenced by those who seek to oppress us. I urge you, as you go to the polls on Friday, August 5th, to let the issue of fair share guide your choice of candidate. I urge you to vote for the CCM team that has been championing this cause. Vote for Alexis Jeffers in number 11, for Eric Evelyn in number 10, and for yours truly in number nine. On election night, when the results are announced, let it be said by our children and our children's children that on August 5th, 2022, when we were called upon to make a decisive decision on the direction of our country, we did not waver. We did not falter, but we went out in our numbers and voted for a better Nevis and by extension, a better country. This is not the time to sit back. We need all hands on deck if we are to restore decency and good governance to our beloved nation. I ask for God's guidance and abundant grace and mercy on us all. Thank you and God bless you.